Welcome to the Travelling Taunters YouTube, everyone. Dylan, Caitlin Nash, travelling around Australia full time. Follow along for our epic journey, guys. See ya. Righto, what is going on? Diesel heater installation today. We've got um, we got the Thermo Mate, just straight off eBay, 229 bucks. I think they're maybe 350. I think it might have been on a bit of a sale, so 229 dollars delivered. It's pretty good. You can get more expensive ones. Um, people, yeah, like 1500 bucks, two grand. But I've heard they just, yeah, just, these are just as good apparently. So I don't know. I've never put one in, and I've never had one. So yeah, 229 bucks. Thermo made it is, um, the five kilowatt one. It weighs about eight eight kilos. Um, but obviously it's a ten you got a ten litre can. So yeah, obviously take that into consideration as well, ten kilos there. Um, I'm gonna put that on the front, that'll go I'm gonna move my toolbox forward a little bit. I'll show you that soon, but yeah, and put it down behind my toolbox, in between the toolbox and the van. So yeah, that's ten litres. Um, that's obviously yeah, your diesel can. You got the main unit there, that's gonna go under the bed, probably in this uh, front corner here, I think. I'll put it there so that it's going to blow. Um, it'll blow out from underneath there, sort of down the hallway, and obviously circulate around pretty well. And then, yeah, it comes with comes with everything really. You get all the hose clamps, fittings, fixtures, um, diesel line, fuel hose, and then that's a little pump. And then, obviously, you got exhaust and vents and everything in the box. And this is the um, electrical cable loom. So that's you got to control panel screen, I'll probably put that on the side of the bed there. And it even comes with a little remote, which I thought was pretty sick. But yeah, don't even have to get out of bed, mate, and just turn it on, schmicko. And obviously, yeah, that's all your cables, run that back to the battery. But yeah, I think it's pretty easy. See how we go. See if I can't put a uh, big hole in the wrong spot in the bottom of the van. Surely not, see, how we <laughs> see what happens. All right, see you along the way. All right, I've had a good look around. Had a um, good old, good measure. And I'm pretty sure this is the best spot for it here because I wanted it at the front, but um, the, the bloody water tanks are straight underneath there, so we can't go there. So, yeah, it looks like this back corner's the go. I'm on that sort of bit of an angle, and I'll just sit sit in this corner. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, like I used to tell my apprentices all the time, but I don't think they listen to me, but always, yeah, measure twice, cut once, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to do a little test hole first. I did go on and have a look and had to move some water pipes as well, but... I think I think it'll be alright there. But yeah, time to drill a big big uh, hundred mil hole. Well, I'm gonna do a ninety mil hole and see if that works first, and then um, might have to change it a little bit out. But yeah, let's uh, let's drill a hole, eh? See how that goes. Right, it's not the easiest place to film under here, but as well, it's a bit tricky doing this. Anyway, there's those two big border tanks I was talking about. I was gonna put it uh, in this corner here, but yeah, too hard basket. So, me little hole. I don't know if you can see it. Right there, perfect mate. It's missed everything, missed all the crossbars. You want to make sure you're not going to hit any of these when you're drilling out. And obviously your water pipe, their water pipes, you do not want to hit those either. Otherwise you're just going to have to fix them all. But yeah, main one is those cross cross sections in the frame. Uh, miss all that and, you, and you're laughing. Right, right, let's drill this big hole out, eh? Great success. Oh, good one. She missed everything. Right, so that's the plate there. And um, you can see, I've only done the 90 mil hole because that's all I had. See this little bit here? I'm just gonna um, use a 12 mil bit and just drill that out. That's just for the wires where your cables go down through. So it's not too crucial. But um, yeah, I'll drill that out now. And yeah, that's all, that's all you gotta do for that. And I'll show you how I install it onto this plate. All right, so little trick. Um, put these, I'm going to put this, screw this plate and the exhaust, got the exhaust pipe there, the inlet, and I'm going to run the cables through that now, um, because it's, it's a lot easier to do it here and do up your pipe, um, your pipe clamps and stuff on here, before you have to, so you don't have to climb under and do it from underneath. 
So yeah, let's chuck them on now. So chuck these um these cables through first. Make sure we do it all the right way, otherwise it's going to be a stitch out. So run that one through. You want to leave obviously the one for the monitor that goes to the monitor. You obviously don't want to put it through the hole, but everything else can go through. So you got your that goes to your fuel pump. That one. This one will go to your battery. It's just got a fuse on the end of it. So those three cables, run them through, put them into that slot, like that. And then that there, that main plug is obviously it's going to plug into your unit. It's got a plug on the side of that. And then that one there is going to stay inside the van and it's going to go to the monitor. All right, so that can go on. Just like that. That'll plug into there, perfect. And that will go out the bottom, the outside. Righto, so then they give you four little studs, right? The double end on, screws on at both ends. Uh, the little end, chuck it into that. Screw them into there. Four nuts, chuck them on. All right, kind of looks like I've got shit everywhere here, but there's a little bit to it, I suppose. Uh, let's put these on now. So what you got, you got these little clips, little pipe pipe clamp or hose clamp, right? Uh, they're supplied about 12, there's a heap of them. So I'm gonna put two on each on each end here. Push that on. All the way down. All right, that's that. Now the exhaust. Make sure you put it on the right side. It's out of this one. The one further away from the hose. Try and keep a little bit of heat away from it. It just goes on there. Ah, oh, that's that. Right out the inlet, the air inlet. Put that on too. Goes on there. Do him up. That's it mate, that's it. Um, righto. So that's it for that. Now I'm gonna drop all that through that hole. And then I'm gonna seal it up too. But yeah, way easier doing it like that than put, trying to get underneath and do them all up from underneath. So yeah, that's that. Next step, let's go. Rightio, so this is it installed, the diesel heater. So, uh, I can't remember where I got to the other day, but I'm just gonna finish off the video, because I um, we had a bit on and moved spots and all that, so, bit of a recap, and just a quick rundown again. So yeah, I just end up going in the corner there like that, on a bit of an angle, just to give that back um, suction there, a bit more room to suck some more air. Um, there's quite a bit of flow of air in between the um, mattress and the bed anyway, so there's not it's not gonna struggle there. Um, so I was going to drill a hole and make a vent, but I don't think it needs it. It's fine um, So yeah, make sure you like I said put, connect everything to the bottom of this uh, Main unit first before you stick it down through that hole 
Otherwise, it's a nightmare. And don't do what I did. Don't put. <laughs> I didn't have a um, downpipe pop to put there, so don't put a um, don't put sicker all there. Well, you can if you want, but before you put it in, because it just goes everywhere, as we learnt. Um, so yeah, there's the vent. I just obviously that just comes out the front. I've taken the vent off the front there because it just blows better straight out like that. I find. And then your electrical cables. I've just run this one for the uh, monitor. That goes up. Put a hole through there. Comes out through there. I'll just um, get a little bit more whiteboard on the road somewhere and just come up and just cover that up so you can't see it. Um, that's the best I could do it there. It goes into these cupboards. There's stuff in here, so I won't show you in there. But it just goes in, it goes up through here, and then comes out and I come in the back of that. So that's where that goes. Right, eh? Let's have a look at this underneath. I um, what you got here? So yeah, like I've showed you before, you got your exhaust coming out. We've just put it down like that. You can put that horizontally. It has got a little drain pipe there, so it is kind of meant to be installed horizontally, but it's still fine like that. Any moisture's still gonna drip out, so I wouldn't stress too much. And then you've got your intake there. It's just cable tied to another pipe. That's all it is. Um, that'll be fine there. It's not gonna collect too much dust or whatever. Anyway, it just comes off and blows out, that's fine. And then you've got your fuel line here. Um, obviously, make sure you put some conduit on it to try and give it a bit more protection from that heat coming out of that. And then with your negative cable, just screwed it straight to the chassis there. And then you've got a positive cable that I've run down around here, and my batteries are on the outside. Comes through there, up, and I've run it to my batteries. And all it does is just put a um, terminal on the end and just put it straight onto your battery there. And it comes with the same fuse, which is um, in behind there. You can't quite see it. Yeah. Anyway, there's a fuse in there. It's got its own fuse. Um, come back under here. And this is your fuel pump. That needs to be installed on a 15 to 30 degree angle that way. So make sure you do that. That's pretty pretty important. Um, so it doesn't suck air. And then, oh, what do you got? And then just your little fuel um, filter there. Pretty straightforward, just cable tied straight to the pipe. I just try and use what, what's there. Say it's putting any more screws and saddles in anywhere. Just use cable ties, way easier. And then just run that through there, through that tray at the front there. That's the uh, fuel line. And then come out here to the comes out up here and in the bottom of this tank that I'm installed on the front. There like that. And uh, that's it mate. Pretty pretty simple. It, it's a bit dawning when you first get it. There's quite a few parts. But I wouldn't stress too much. It's uh, pretty straightforward. If you have any dramas, uh, just sing out. I can give you a hand to try and answer any questions. But um, what was I going to say? Yeah, anyway, it's a cheap, yeah, the cheap diesel heater. Just 229 bucks off eBay. Can't go wrong, I think. We've tried it. It's been working the last week and it's almost too hot. We have to put it on about 15 degrees. It goes up to about 35 degrees, but there's no way you'd need that. It is cooking in here on 15 degrees, so you just, we crank it for about an hour, turn it off. So I reckon that diesel will last bloody ages. But yeah, unreal. Anyway, guys, hope you liked that. Hope it helped you. Um, let us know in the comments. Give us a thumbs up. Press subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, we'll get some more videos up for you. There's another one coming soon about um, how I did my inverter as well. So yeah, cheers, legends. Catch you later.